Hey everybody, big welcome back to my channel and welcome for the first time if you've never been here before. My name is Mike and I have a little hobby channel here and today's hobby is my reef keeping hobby and I'm showing you an Amazon auto top off. So if you're like me and you get sick of adding water to the uh, sump every day, then this might be the solution for you. Now this is a cheapie being only $60 Canadian versus some of like the JBJ, which is about $150 or so. And then you've got ones where you can spend two, $300 on them. But I decided to give this one a try because I'm pretty cheap and I've had all right luck with stuff off Amazon, so why not? So there's a little uh, peek at the manual. You can obviously pause and look at it if you want. And originally I did record this video with audio. However, due to background noise, um, and all that, it was just, uh, I just decided to do this narration over it. So uh, here I'm showing you the part that clips onto the side of the sump or tank. If you have a, like if you have an in-tank sump, like an all-in-one tank or something, it could go in there. And just looking over, it's got uh, like a sensor eye and a float switch. So the float switch determines your low level and it uses a sensor eye for the high level. And one thing I will note is that when you see me holding it like that, I've actually got it on backwards. The float valve thing should be hanging downward. So I do make that correction later on, but I wanted to point it out. So this is the smallest little pump imaginable, um, which is okay, though, because now I've actually had this uh, up and going for, oh, whatever, it's been over a week anyway. Um, and it And it does its job. Here, I'm going to open this up. That's just the clamp for uh, holding it, which is the new style. Um, I remember making a comment about that. Like, am I ever glad they didn't give me the old style? Because I would have been furious. I would snap. So, we're good. I got the new style. I actually have no idea what the old style was, though. So, I don't know. It just sounds, sounds more fun to get angry. So, anyhow, that's just to hold the uh, hose over the edge of the tank. So it's, I've actually got it on there and it's doing its thing. So, but you could always use any kind of little clip if you needed one even. And of course, what's this? The power adapter for the system. And I will say two things. One, I have no idea what this little card meant. It just came with it and I can't read it. So, and the other thing is that it's not a perfect system. So spoiler alert, you don't have to watch the whole 11 minutes. I'll tell you, it's not perfect. And when I say it's not perfect, I mean that if you look to the left side of the screen, you'll see my water level indicator. I do end up in here getting that set up to the right level. And the pump sometimes overfills it a little bit, about an inch above that line which translates into only really a couple of cups of extra water. I don't think it's really affecting the salinity or anything like that, but it is what it is. I just figured it's worth mentioning. And so here I was trying to look at where I'm going to put it, and I was explaining that it's not going to reach for where I need, because if I put it on there, then the water level will be too high. It would actually end up being quite a bit above that line, and then there would be no falling through the foam there. Um, for the biological filter, I don't know, it would be submerged anyway, instead of trickling. And then it would rate, change the level for my, for my skimmer. And anyway, so realistically, I just thought it would mess everything up. So I'm going to have to come up with another solution, which, um, yeah, there we go. We can see that it is adjustable. So if you had a different tank, you could do it another way, um, like, or you could put a higher or lower if you needed or whatever. Well, I can't go any lower. But so my solution was to drill a hole in that white plexiglass wall there. And then basically I had to sit and I looked over the parts that came with thing, trying to figure out how I could make this work. And I got it figured out using part of the clamp. So it's... It's okay. I just, I wish it was longer. That's all. That's all I could say. I wish it was a little bit longer so that it would have fit for this, but I'm guessing it's just maybe my sump is bigger than they had in mind. Overall for the price though, it's doing its thing. So I don't know if this video will ever help anybody that's considered buying one of these or didn't know how you would mount it in your sump. Obviously what I did here, it's not ideal, but 
as you can see from the video, it works. And if I get my hands out of the way, this was actually a really hard one to record because it's a very small opening on my tank stand. So kind of hard to get my hands in there and the camera and the parts that I'm trying to do. But ultimately, I probably should have cut all this part out because it's boring. But anyway, on the up note, though, if you haven't watched my video for the skimmer, you could give that a watch. It's on my channel. Uh, that was like a $70 skimmer off of Amazon called Devil Red. It's like a Devil Red 150 or something. and. I'll tell you right now that for the price of it, I could not be happier. The thing's actually pulling out all kinds of crap. Well, you can see when I lift the camera up, you can see how dark the uh, skim mate that's coming out of it. So for that kind of money, why not? And it's and then it actually had got me thinking about like looking up all the parts and how much would it cost to build a nano reef system on amazon because you can buy the aquarium you can buy the light you can buy the heater the pumps everything you need the skimmer so i was curious on what it would cost to build an amazon only reef you can get the sand you can get the salt everything except for live fish and coral um i don't believe you can buy them on amazon but other than that it would be kind of fun to set one up like that all right, so now I've got it into position, and we just got to get the plumbing set up. So that's all the sensor crap out of the way. I know I do apologize. I know it's not an exciting video, but if you are in the exciting world of reef keeping and you are looking for a cheap auto top off, then this is the video for you. So I'll tell you a couple of things that I have noticed with this is that when I get to it, I'm going to be showing you the sensor that ends up going into your auto top off bucket and it comes with another sensor eye right there and that it kind of like so i put it into the bucket and i'm just using a little five gallon ready mix salt water pail i had from a long time ago and when i drop that in it goes to the bottom no problem but over time it seems to float back up and when it comes to back up to the surface then it senses that there's no water in the top off bucket. And so your thing will just sit there beeping at you until you figure it out. So you see how I'm jamming the wire in there. Somehow I got to try to get like an acrylic rod or something that I can just kind of attach it to that. Or the other thing I could do is maybe just put a um, zip tie around that and put it at the pump. Because when I drop the pump and I haven't dropped the pump in yet, obviously, because I haven't put the hose on, which is what's happening right now. So here I'm just showing you that the way they folded the hose, it was all kinked and stuff, but it's not terrible. So anyway, we get that put on there. And what a cool little tiny pump. I don't think I've ever had a pump that small. But anyway, so I dropped that in there. So you can see, though, if I was to zip tie the eye sensor to that, then it would be firmly placed on the bottom. Because it is kind of a pain in the ass when it starts beeping at you and you're like, what's going on? And then have to go and jiggle the wire and get it to sync again. So if I can save even one person the headache of that by making this video, then the video is worthwhile. So unfortunately, due to the way the tank, the stand is and stuff, it's really hard for me to catch everything I was doing with the, with the phone because I don't want to shoot it in vertical. If I did that, I would definitely get more dislikes than I'm already going to get for the lengthy, uh, you know, uncut version of setting this up that I've made here. So there we go with the razor blade. I've always got a razor blade handy with the tank because I use them every now and then to scrape off like coralline algae off the glass and stuff. So, all right. I was joking. It was for cutting heroin. No. That's uh that's a messed up. I've watched documentaries on that. People getting all messed up on that stuff. That's crazy. I don't think we face as much of that heat really around here, but anyway, let's get this thing put on now that we're back on track for the tank. And get that put on, and then it's gonna be time to test this baby out. So I had purposely left my water level low so that I could get this set up and tested. 
and here we go we're gonna fire it up now and I don't know if I actually show you guys I don't recall whether if I actually show it when I'm filling or not but we'll give it a go and see what happens here dun, 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 dun. all right there we go we're plugging it in oh and then I had stuck it to the glass, but it was blocking my view of stuff. So I don't actually even have it on the glass anymore. But I thought about at some point, I'm going to clean up all the wires. And I'll probably try to mount it to the wall in my stand just to tidy up the wiring a bit. I don't know why they thought you wanted suction cups. I'd rather clip it to the wall. But anyway, so it's that simple. Now we're just going to plug that in and it should sense, hey, Look, there it goes right away, starts pumping water. So now, other than it every now and then overfilling and that thing floating up, I've actually been really happy with this thing. I haven't had to top off water by hand. And uh, so I give it two thumbs up, you know what I mean? Or at least one and three quarters thumbs up or something. It's for the price of it, I didn't pay 200 bucks or 300 bucks, not even 100 bucks. For 60 bucks, I'm happy with what I bought. And uh, I do recommend it. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.